fun. Two weeks on the road, about two and a half. Back right here where I started, Birmingham Terminal. Birmingham, Tulsa, Laredo, back to Tulsa, now back to Birmingham. Today is the day. I'm all ready to get this truck. There you have it, people. I finally got my truck. Cody. I want to say I'm tired, but I'm really not. But what time is it? 6.30. I got to get this truck cleaned up. Just got finished unpacking all my stuff. Uh, I took the top mattress off the top uh, bunk, put it on the um, on the bottom bunk, so I got two mattresses. I'm not worried about training nobody no time soon. After, after what I just dealt with, I don't know. I ain't got... I don't, I don't got the patience to ride in this truck with two people. Maybe later on down the line, maybe I'll become a trainer. But as of right now, nah, I ain't ready for that. I like to enjoy my little privacy to myself. I don't need nobody cramped all on top of me, so I got a goddamn double double bed back there. <laughs> two two mattresses on. I mean, I'm probably not the only one did it, but hey, at first I wasn't gonna do it. But I said, damn, fuck it, ain't nobody riding up there. So, hope y'all like my little video. Maybe I'll be a real director one day. But that's about it for tonight. I'm about to eat, take this trash out, go in here and take me a shower because I'm still sitting in the yard at the um, Birmingham terminal. I got to call in in the morning, 7 o'clock, um, get myself ready for a load. Uh, but, probably get delayed just a little bit in case if they was to send me a load right back because I just... Uh, I did, did my little inspection on everything. Um, my trailer, got a couple lights, my identification lights in the back of the trailer, they're not working. Uh, the two amber um, lights at the front on both sides, they're not working. So I gotta get, I know I gotta get that fixed before I, before I leave with this trailer. So uh, that's about it, people. I'm about to wrap this one up because I'm ready to eat. I got some chicken tenders and some, uh, some cheddar, cheddar pasta. I'm ready to fuck it up. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Hey, good luck to everybody coming through metal, man. I got my truck. It ain't take that long, about a month, about a month long process. So uh good luck to all the boys in orientation now. Y'all y'all boys still in the hotel this week. Good luck to y'all. Appreciate my man for the pizza today. I was taking that damn uh Smith system quiz. Hey, that shit be racking my brain. But uh I got, got that knocked out, got it out of the way. I just thought about it. He's supposed to give me another log book back. Hey, all y'all uh, people coming in and, um, you know, doing, going, coming through Melton, make sure you keep up with your logs book. When you're on the trainer truck, make sure you take care of that log every night. Like, you might can go two nights and then catch it up. Make sure you do that log every night because uh, you wait to the last minute and say you don't log nothing while you with that trainer. I mean, you gotta turn the logs in when you come back. Um, only night that I didn't log was like uh, my last two nights. That's cause when I got back to the yard, I, I just took a picture of the quad car. I was like, man, I'll catch it up on uh, Monday cause I ain't feel like being in the truck anymore. I already get to the hotel. But uh, make sure y'all do them logs every single night cause you do gotta turn them in. And if you don't got them complete, they're gonna make you sit in the damn lobby and do them. So make sure, you, I, I ain't had that problem cause I did mine every night. But it took me about about 15 minutes to go ahead and do them two days sitting in the lobby because um, I don't know how accurate they are with them, but I, I don't know if they, they might want to look up on the system and check exactly where you at on the Qualcomm just to see if you're lying. So 
don't even don't even open that door. Just make sure you do your logs every night. Be safe out there with these trainers. Do what's comfortable for you. Even when you by yourself. Do hey, work smart. Don't work hard. Don't make the job harder on yourself. Hey, so uh good luck to everybody. I start my new journey tomorrow Perfect. as soon as I get this trailer fixed. But I'm out. Peace. One more thing, I forgot to tell y'all. I ain't say nothing about the truck. Hey, I got a freight liner. I didn't get the Kenworth. I wish I would've got the Kenworth because you know I was familiar with all the patrols in the Kenworth, uh, riding with the trainers and all that. I got a freight liner. Uh, I don't have the smart steering wheel. It's semi-smart, but it ain't as smart as that Kenworth. Perfect. Well, that's, uh, I don't got a digital dash. Jake brake still up on the wheel. Yeah, I like that instead of, instead of reaching down low and doing it. But uh, my refrigerator doesn't have a blue light. It has a white light and it's on this side instead of being on that side. Uh, I like I like the damn, the blue light that comes on the Kenworth cause, just cause it matches the truck. Perfect. Uh, I don't know, it's, ain't too much. My Bendix system is behind the Qualcomm. <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was to put it right there. And the, and the Kenworth is right here above the trailer brake, so I can see it. But how the hell I'm gonna see it? It's just behind the Qualcomm right here. I mean, I, I guess the only reason you have to look at the Qualcomm is if you don't have a navigation, like I don't have one. So I gotta use the Qualcomm until I get one. But uh, I guess if you didn't have, if you had your own navigation, you could just move the Qualcomm out the way and look straight at the Bendix. Use the Bendix system, man. Don't let nobody tell y'all, oh, don't, don't trust that technology. Man, fuck that. Use that damn Bendix system. That's why it's in here. It's going to tell you how many seconds you are behind somebody else. Don't be stupid. Because even if you get too close and you got this system in here, it's going to fucking set an alarm off to make your ass back up. Um, I had my trailer, uh, not my trailer brakes, but I had my brakes locked up on me one time when I was with the trainer. And, and somebody cut in front of me, and they weren't even real close. It was a good little distance, but the brakes still locked up. When the car swerved, uh, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't lock up too bad, but it was enough to jolt you and you know, let you know somebody swerved in front of you. So maybe, hey, hey, Melton, you gonna get a lot of promotion off my videos, man. Maybe y'all can watch this video, and I need to bend this system right here where I can see it, so I can be a more productive driver. How about that, Melton? Kenworth, that's what I need, Kenworth. This is the dash, smart wheel. Not this semi-smart wheel, I want a smart wheel. I want the Bendix right here. And hey, I don't, I don't ask for too much. But if I can get that stuff, I'd be happy. All right, people, I'm going for real. Deuces.